Hi, my name is Oliver. I'm originally from the UK. London is home, but hopefully Hong Kong, I'll be back very soon. I used to live here for seven years, from 2004 until 2011. Uh, what brought me to Hong Kong in the first place? I started teaching in 2002 in China. I really enjoyed it and I wanted to make my career in teaching. So in 2003, I applied for a position at the University of Hong Kong. I had an interview, got accepted and did my bachelor's degree in education at the University of Hong Kong and successfully graduated in 2008. So that's what brought me to Hong Kong in the first place. There might be some difficulties in terms, it depends where you are. I think it's, if you're going to be on Hong Kong Island, uh, English is still widely spoken among the local population. If you venture out into the new territories, it might get a little bit more challenging. You should always make the effort to try and learn the language, kind of the local lingo. Uh, get the phrases going, get a few sentences, and I think then you'll be okay, you'll be fine. Uh, I think London and Hong Kong have a lot of things in common. Uh, busy lifestyle, uh, left-right traffic, double-decker buses. Um, there are so many things kind of which remind me of London here in Hong Kong. So absolutely, there, there are quite a few similarities between those two cities. I think one shared thing is that uh, people want to learn English. It's, it's a global, global language. Uh, people learn it for business reasons, for, for many other reasons, kind of to study abroad. And I think that kind of goes globally everywhere I've taught, in, in Istanbul, in Oman, here in Hong Kong, back in the UK, um, absolutely. So it's, it's a global language and there are many reasons behind it. Well, it depends on the students, kind of themselves, if they have the motivation to learn the language. Uh, it depends also on the, uh, the school they're in, if it's a band one, band two or band three school. Um, I've come across a lot of Hong Kong students who are willing, who are motivated and who embrace kind of uh, the learning experience and kind of who take English on as kind of their second language. So for some of them it might be difficult but quite a few of them are willing to learn and uh, are happy to learn as well, absolutely.